Hello, everybody. Today we will take MATLAB. We will publish a ROS topic, and that ROS topic will show up on another computer, and we'll be able to use it on our robot. So to begin, what we're going to do is our goal is to publish a command velocity from MATLAB and have it show up on this computer. So to begin, let's run ROS Core on the robot computer. So that's step one. Step two, you must run a process that has command velocity. So in my case, I'm going to run a teleop operation. All this is doing, all this is doing is putting command velocity in the topic list. It doesn't matter what this does. It's not even connected to anything right now. So that put command velocity in my list. So if I run ROS topic echo command velocity, I don't see anything, but I don't get an error that command velocity doesn't exist because it does currently exist in my, if I ran ROS topic list. All right, so first step was ROS core. Second step, run something that uses command velocity. Step three, check, I guess. All right, really step three is check the host name of your client computer, your robot computer. So run host name dash I. There's my IP address. All right, and this is all I need from this computer. All I need is to have ROS core running something with command velocity and then my IP address. So let's go over to MATLAB. So all I have to do is I have to, well, actually what you have to do oops, is have an add-on, a specific add-on. So it's just called, I think it's just called Ross. We'll see what it's called here in a minute. All right, Robotic System Toolbox. Uh, in my case, it seems I can do this trial indefinitely. I just let it run out and then start over, and it hasn't had been any issue. So, Okay, so on MATLAB, you're going to do ROS initiate, so ROS, I-N-I-T, and then the IP address that you pull off of your robot's computer. So see, those are the same IP address. I'm going to run it. All right, and so now this is connecting to the ROS master I started on the robot computer. So now this MATLAB is actually a node. Um, and so my code is going to simulate a skid steer robot and it's going to publish appropriate command velocities. Well, let me just show you real quick what it looks like, how I'm publishing. This is the only part where I'm publishing. Um, I have just a loop of my velocities. For some reason, you can't have um, you can't have an i, a varying variable, in your actual pub published values. Anyways, uh, just these. Th this first line publishes. This uh, declares the message, and then here is my two published topics, and this is what actually publishes. So you need all this. Um, so let me go ahead and run it and we'll see a little bit of my simulation. Don't worry about that. So this is going to be the path that hopefully the robot will follow in real life. Um, and this is simulating some slip. Those are some instant centers. All right, so now I'm ready to run this on my robot. So yes, all right, time has begun. So let me go over here and I, I ran ROS topic echo and I'm publishing the corresponding forward and rotational velocities. Thank you for watching.